Hi everybody, today we're going to be working our way through a CAD modeling exercise in Inventor and I'm going to be guiding you along every step of the way. We're going to be modeling this flathead screwdriver which should help dust off some skills such as using the navigation tools, 2D sketching, using constraints and dimensions, 3D tools such as extrude and revolve, and applying colors and textures to a solid. Be sure to watch me do every step in the video first and then try it on your own in Inventor. Remember to save early and save often and if you need to see any part again, you can always scroll back to an earlier part in the video or press pause to get yourself caught up. As always, try to figure things out on your own and solve your own problems before asking for help. So let's get started. To begin, open up Inventor and create a new part file. Use Save As to save it in the class folder with the title screwdriver and then underscore your name. Now we're ready to model. Click Start 2D Sketch and select the horizontal XZ plane. Now sketch a square in the middle. I use the rectangle tool called Two Point Center to be sure my square is centered around the origin. Click once in the center, then drag the mouse away. Before you click a second time, type in the dimensions. It should be 0.25 inches and then press the tab key on your keyboard to type 0.25 inches in the other direction. Hit enter to keep these dimensions. Now you can click finish sketch and extrude the profile 6 inches. This is a good time to save. Next we'll be making the round part of the handle just above the blade. Making this part as an extrusion wouldn't give us the curved shape that we're looking for so we're going to make it as a revolve instead. Click Start 2D Sketch and then expand the Origin folder in the Model Browser. Select the YZ plane to sketch on. Use the command Project Geometry and click the horizontal line at the top of the screwdriver blade. This should project a yellow line onto your sketch that you can use to snap and dimension to. Using the Line tool, start a line on the midpoint of the projected line and draw the line vertically one inch long. You can type in your dimensions as you go, or use the Sketch Constraints and Dimensioning tool to constrain the line after it's drawn. From the end of this line, draw a horizontal line 0.375 inches long to the left, and do the same thing from the bottom of the vertical line. Next draw a line from the end of the bottom horizontal line that angles up slightly, and another from the top line that angles down slightly. You'll need to dimension these lines as follows. The end of the angled line should measure 0.5 inches horizontally from the vertical line and 0.1 inches vertically from the horizontal line. The dimensions are the same on bottom as they are on top. Next click on the three point arc tool. Click the two ends of the angled lines, then drag the cursor in toward the vertical line. Type the dimension 1.3 inches and press the enter key. You should now have a fully constrained profile of the curved part of the handle. Click Finish Sketch. Now select the Revolve tool from the ribbon. The profile you just made should be highlighted automatically, but if it isn't, you'll need to click Profile and then select your sketch. Next click Axis, and then click the vertical line that you drew first. It should be sticking up from the exact center of the screwdriver blade. If the preview looks right, go ahead and click the green check mark to keep the revolution. Your screwdriver should now look like this. This would be a great time to save. Our next move will be to create the main part of the handle. To do this, click Start 2D Sketch, and then click the flat top of the handle to sketch there. Use the Polygon tool, and make sure to type in six sides for your polygon. Click the center of your sketch first, then drag your cursor straight up to make your second click. Now add a dimension of 1.4 inches from one point on the hexagon to the opposite point. You can now click Finish Sketch and extrude the hexagon 4 inches. To make the handle more comfortable to hold, use the Fillet tool to create a 0.25 inch radius fillet on the top and bottom edges of the handle, then save your work. The last part of the handle is the roundish ball on top, designed to let a person spin the screwdriver more comfortably in the palm of his or her hand. Since this is another round feature, we'll be using the Revolve tool again. Click Start 2D Sketch, then select the YZ origin plane again. Use the Project Geometry tool to bring forward the top center line of the handle. You can click the F7 key on your keyboard to slice away extra material and see your sketching surface more clearly. From the midpoint of the projected line, draw a vertical line 0.6 inches long. 
Then draw another vertical line the same length, just a bit to the left of the first one. Use the dimension tool to set this line 0.25 inches from the first one. Use the three point arc tool and click on the top and bottom of the new line, then drag your cursor to the outside. Type the dimension 0.3 inches and click enter. Now connect the ends of the arc to the ends of the first vertical line. Finally, delete the second vertical line. You should now redimension the center point of the arc to be sure it is 0.25 inches away from the first vertical line before clicking Finish Sketch. Now you can select the Revolve tool and choose the curved sketch as your profile and the vertical line as your axis. Be sure the preview looks correct, then click the green check to accept it. Great job! Your handle's complete. Now save your work before moving forward. The last thing we need to do is to put the tip on the blade. I prefer to rotate the screwdriver to the side for this part. Click Start 2D Sketch, and then select the side of the blade to sketch on. Use Project Geometry to highlight the end of the blade, as well as the top and bottom. Use the Line tool to roughly sketch out this shape, and then we'll use dimensions to make the shape exact. The outer points should measure 0.08 inches vertically from the walls of the blade and 0.4 inches from the end. The tip should measure 1.15 inches from the end of the blade. The tip should also be centered, so I'm going to use the vertical constraint and click on the midpoint of the tip and the midpoint of the end of the blade to align them. You could also accomplish the same thing using dimensions, but this is how I prefer to do it. My last dimension will be the width of the tip, which I want to be 0.25 inches. Our sketch is now fully dimensioned and ready for extrusion. So I click Finish Sketch and then extrude the tip 0.25 inches. This looks fine from the front, but from the side it's clear that the tip is too wide and not much good for driving screws. So as our final step, we're going to correct this. But first, let's save our work. Click Start 2D Sketch and then click the YZ Origin Plane. Use Project Geometry and click on the end of the tip. This time it'll be helpful for you to hit the F7 key on your keyboard so you can see what's happening here. From the midpoint of the projected line, draw a horizontal line going 1 32nd of an inch in each direction from the middle. From the ends of these lines, you're going to draw two triangles that each reach out to the edge of the tip horizontally and up to the upper corners of the tip vertically, which is 1.15 inches if you can remember from the previous step, then diagonally down to where they began. Click Finish Sketch, then choose the Extrude tool. First you'll need to select the two triangles you just drew as your profiles. Now you'll need to change a couple of settings before accepting your extrude. Type in 0.5 inches as your distance, then change the type of extrusion from Join to Cut, and finally change the direction from Direction 1 to Symmetric. If your preview looks correct, go ahead and click on the green check to accept it. Great job! Your screwdriver is now complete. Save your work, then you can use your extra time to personalize your screwdriver by adding colors, insetting the handle, or adding your name to the outside.